Hello there, it's your boy Don Zizi from All Niger Beats, um, and I'm back with a new video. In this video, I want to talk about the sounds that are commonly used in Afrobeat, particularly uh, the percussion sounds, but I also talk a bit about uh, the string sounds and also the bass. I know that a lot of people have been asking me this question, you know, where do I get Afrobeat samples, where do I get packs, what kind of sounds do I use, uh, but I think you need to understand certain things about production uh, so that you know exactly what to do. The first thing you need to know is that there aren't specific samples that have been designed for specific genres of music. Now, don't get me wrong. You could have certain sounds that are more commonly used in certain genres. But what I'm trying to say is there isn't some specific sounds that you could say, okay, this is Afrobeat. You could actually make an Afrobeat song and take some samples from R&B, from reggae, from dancehall, from house music, from uh, you know pop music, um, from electronica or EDM, you know. So don't get stuck on. I need to find Afrobeat samples. It's because I don't have samples. That's why my productions are no good. That is not correct. The second thing you need to know is that you have to learn how to tweak your sounds. You have to learn how to tweak your sounds to get what you want. A lot of times I take an ordinary sounding sample in my productions and I try to use um, a lot of things like EQ, compression, reverb, distortion, reversal. I use so many techniques to get the sound that I want. That being said, I'll just show you a few of the sounds that I commonly use um, for my Afrobeat music or Afro pop music. Uh, actually, I have a folder here that's called Afrobeat, uh, and I do have some nice samples there. But don't get carried away with the whole, you know, um, Afrobeat folder that I have because you know how they say in music you set a rule and then you break that rule. So, yes, I have a folder called Afrobeat, but I also take samples from so many places and i'll show you a couple of those samples that i that i sometimes use in my production so for afrobeat um, i've got uh, you know this sound i've got a, some congas i got this sound got a slide got a snare you know i got some sound it's my kick another kick these are my shakers really nice Got some claps. You see, there's a whole lot of percussions that are used, you know, congas, rims. Um, this is also a nice sound. I sometimes use this one. I have a very big kick here. You see, these are some sound, of course. These are very common special effects that you hear on a lot of Afrobeat songs. These are chimes. So these are just a few of the sounds. But then I also got some percussions here, which I use. This is a really big one. That's a tambourine. Yeah, that's the big sound you hear in some party songs. A lot of bongos. I have some congas. It's another crazy sound. Yes, remember that you can also sample from other beats. I don't do it frequently, but sometimes you hear a very good sound on somebody else's uh, song, and you just really feel like, you know, I have to go for this. You know, so sometimes these are samples, for instance. I'm just showing you a couple of percussions. You have lots of shakers. Yeah, I know the next thing some of you will be saying is, how can you get some of these samples? Don't worry, just communicate with me. 
and we can talk business haha <laughs> okay so i got lots of stuff that i also use um i have some effect sounds like Base. So these are just some of the effect sounds that you would hear on um on some of my tracks. I have quite a number of snares and claps, you know, that are really nice for Afrobeat. Uh, for my snares, I also have some real snares which I use for rolls because Afrobeat has a lot of drum rolls and you know mashup of different percussions coming in, usually at the end of four bars or at the end of eight bars. So these are some of the snares. are some of the snares that i use uh so yeah there's quite a lot of sounds i really can't show you everything but just to let you know that uh the feel for afrobeat is usually like lots of traditional latin sounding percussions but also some of the regular stuff that i use in other genres as well uh those of you who are very experienced producers would know that some of the best samples in the world come from vengeance i have some of their packs i use them a lot especially in the house collection uh i i, I use them in my productions a lot you can see their bongos the thing about the vengeance samples is that they sound really polished really well made and they really add that professional touch to your productions you can try their bongos real shots So yeah, that's the Vengeance um, Essential House uh, kit, uh, version 1 or version 2. It has really great sounds. You know, I can already feel an Afrobeat song playing in my head. And of course, you have very crazy loops that you can always uh, sample and just take the part of the loop that you, you really like. You could use uh, the SliceX plugin from uh, FL Studio, which is excellent. Uh, I use it to chop up my loops. Just take the, a, a loop and drag it there. You already have it. Uh, you have it on the piano roll. You have all the sounds there. You can just choose the one that you like. Look for the sound you like and the ones you don't like. Just take them off and before you know, you have a lovely sounding beat, a, a, a lovely sounding um, you know sample for you to use uh, so that's the vengeance samples I have quite a lot like I said I really can't go through all of them uh, I also have some uh, hip-hop and trap packs uh, which I bought last week uh, from a website called yeah um, I've forgotten that website I think it's Bitworks Bitworks or busyworksbeat.com something like that uh, you can get the packs for as cheap as uh, forty dollars, and you can get some excellent samples from there. So this is an example of the kit. This is a fire drum kit, sweet eight oh eight. Just listen. Yeah. So all the hip hop music, and then you know because Afrobeat has um, some sub genres that sound like trap music or with a lot of 808s uh, some people call that you know um, um afrobeat hip-hop or afro hip-hop or whatever but these are some of the sounds you can really you can really use for that you know some some really nice uh claps you know you know so yeah don't download crack software don't download crack sa samples go to the website and buy them if you're a nigerian and you're having issues with using your uh, credit card or your debit card to make a purchase online let me know and i'll tell you um, how to do it but the easiest way is to register with paypal paypal has finally admitted nigeria um, for sending payments but not receiving payments so i do most of my shopping online with paypal uh, so uh, to round up my video i'm just going to show you some of the uh, synth plugins that i use uh, one of my favorite is Firebird. 
this is uh from tone 2 it's a lovely well, yeah. plugin it has some fantastic presets uh you can check out this one it is used a lot in the shocky style of afrobeat oops i'm sorry about that uh, of course hypersonic is super popular in nigeria has a lot of lovely sounds that you can choose from uh, Nexus, of course, that's like the gold standard for making hip hop pop music in the world right now. So yeah, you got a lot, and then of course you could get a lot of expansion packs with a lot of interesting sounds. Yeah, so that's also used in this tutorial. I don't have much time to go into the specific sounds used for Afrobeat, but just take note that you can get any sound and use it for Afrobeat. All you need to do is make sure it sounds nice, it sounds groovy, it sounds like something you can rock in a party. Um, sometimes I use Z3TA Plus from uh, Cakewalk. Usually when you install Sonar, you get this particular plugin. It's an excellent plugin with loads of presets to choose from. You shouldn't have any complaint if you have plugins. Uh, uh, such as this. Of course, don't forget uh, FL Studio itself has some interesting plugins. Harmless, Hammer, these are very good plugins. I use them sometimes. I use Citrus uh, sometimes. It's also lovely. Um, you know, just 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 try to get the sound that you're looking for. Uh, Fab Filter Twin is also another excellent plugin. Not too popular, but I can assure you it has some lovely sounds so and the sound quality is excellent for my bass i use this plugin a lot from native instruments it's called pro 53 and the bass sounds there are just super uh, i'll show you an example there is this bass uh, that is called thick bass uh, i use that a lot it's really nice So just feel free, explore your sounds, and have a good time. If you like this video, uh, and you would like us to, you like to contact me for anything. If you want beats, if you want tutorials on how to make Apple beat or any other style of music, if you want um, some samples, if you want plugins, if you want anything, just let me know. I'll give you advice on how to buy them. I'll also guide you on how to produce. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and you know, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.